Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to print the source code. So why would you want to do that? You want to print it out for copyright. In my case, I finished working on my starter product, which is an ad tech startup, which we're basically building a management platform for teachers and school admins under a new evaluation system imposed by my government from the Dominican Republic. And I had to copyright my source code to prevent a blatant ripoff from somebody else. Not patents, but copyright. And I was asked to print all the source code. I know this is something that most of you won't do, but in case you need it, here it is. We're going to concatenate all the source code files together into a huge script, which you can send them to print. If you need a more organized way on doing this, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. This method also works with any programming language. We're going to use an example React TypeScript application using the Create React app. Now, Create React app has all of the, your source code files inside the source folder. What you want to do is you want to open the source folder. In my case, I have Visual Studio Code open. I'm going to press ALT Shift R to open the file explorer. I'm going to double click and enter source folder. I'm going to type on the search. I'm going to type asterisk.ts or asterisk.css and I'm going to press enter. This is going to find me all the files that are inside the folder all together. Now, what I need to do is that I need to select them all. Control C for copy. And create a new folder, let's say to print. I'm going to paste all the files in here. You will see that you have probably going to have a lot of conflict. I'm going to be fast forwarding in the video a little bit. When you have this conflict, what you want to do is click on let me decide for each file. Click on files from TS or CSS. Files are ready to print and click continue. Note that you're not only limited to TS and CSS files. If you want to have different extensions, you can type them on the search bar. Remember to put an asterisk before you want to work with. After you have copied all of the files, what you want to do is come here, right click, shift, and open Win PowerShell window here. Then you want to type in CMD. I don't know why this was not working with PowerShell, but this worked better with CMD. And you want to type asterisk dot asterisk, no copy, asterisk dot asterisk, space, to print dot txt. And what you're going to say override, because I already have a file. So as you can see, it copied all the all of the files into one. You can find here to print dot txt. See that it's 797 kilobytes. And you're going to have all your source code printed here. Lastly, for better printing compatibility, print it out to PDF and have source code. And you can see all the files that are done, that are getting printed. In total, 609 pages. Wait for it to, to finish printing out. And once you have that PDF, you just need to send it out to your printing machine. And that's it. If you like this video, subscribe.